for today's video. I just finished decorating my office for Christmas. I also am wearing my Christmas merch, which I'm hiding right now because I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. So this morning you guys saw some clips. It was snowing, it was beautiful. Um, so I had to run some errands with Connor for the business. And then from there we went and made chocolate chip cookies with my niece Annabelle. And when I got back home, I came home to the merch. So I was super excited for that and then I'm decorating for Christmas right now in the office because you guys requested to see the girly office um, decorating video. So that's what we're doing today. So let's go get started. Ready to see the merch. So before I show you guys it, um, the, the design idea behind this one was ugly Christmas sweater meets grandma. So it says my true love sent to me and this is like a little, um, like scalloped edge border type of thing and then it has like the whole um song so it has a partridge in a pear tree two turtle doves three french hens all of the things from the song i love it so much and i got mine either in a medium or large because i wanted it to be baggy i'm pretty sure this is a large um, but I just love it so much and I think it's perfect if you guys are having like an ugly Christmas sweater party That was originally my idea for it or it's cute just to wear there are more designs But they for some reason haven't arrived. Um, I think that it said it should be coming in tomorrow So hopefully those ones will be coming in tomorrow um, I really wasn't gonna release this until I had all of them to show you guys, but I feel like I can't show it to you guys and then not release it. So it's probably gonna be up on um, my website. So just check the down box for all the info for this. But I just think it's so cute and I cannot wait for you guys to wear these for Christmas and everything like that. What I'm gonna do now is bring you into my office show you everything and then we can start to decorate right here is the before of my office well my office is super plain if you follow me on instagram i want to give this a makeover because i'm just not really happy with how it looks it was kind of one of those rooms that we just put together very quickly this is what we're working with for now we need to make this very christmasy and girly and just really fun so I say, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to put out is the Christmas tree because I feel like once the Christmas tree is up, it's easy to kind of decorate around it. So this is the tree. Ooh, something is stuck to it. Oh, awesome, there's already lights on it, that works. There is a candle holder stuck to it, that's useful. Um, let's see if these lights actually work. Oh, they do. I don't know if you guys can see them. Probably, ah, you kind of can. I'm gonna put the Christmas tree um, on the corner of my desk. So I'm just gonna replace it. Take my YouTube sign away and put this right here. Actually, I think I have a box to go underneath it. So I have this really cute box that I think the tree would look cute on top of, but the box is, if I can open it, it is completely filled with ornaments that are just so adorable. So I'm gonna take all of these out. Oh, this is so sentimental feeling. I just remember putting all of these out at my old place. So I actually ended up putting the Christmas tree in the like little box. I kind of like it, kind of don't. I have to like let it sit for a minute and see how I feel about it. 
but I just don't have a skirt for the tree. I actually could probably put like an old handkerchief at the bottom of the tree for a skirt. <gasps> Ooh, maybe I'll do that. Hold on a second. So I just took an old hanky and I kind of wrapped it around the bottom of it to act as a tree skirt and I think it looks super cute. I'm wondering if I have any like little boxes to stick under here to look like presents. So I feel like I do. I felt like I saw a Henry Bendel box somewhere. Let's see. So much stuff in here. Oh, I love this little ornament too. Let's see. Ooh, okay, cool, I do. I have a couple little things I can stick under. So I have these beautiful French doors that enter into my office and I thought it would be really pretty to put um, matching wreaths on each of the door, but I couldn't really find any and honestly, I kind of forgot to keep looking. Um, so I do have these two wreaths that I made. If you guys remember, I made videos on these vintage wreaths. Here is the gold one that I made. The issue though is that on top of them being different colors, they're also different sizes. So I don't know if they would look weird to be on the doors. Um, so I might try to figure something else out for, the, for these doors, but I might actually put these on the wall. I think that could be really cute. I'm just so nervous that they're gonna fall and break, especially this one. This one is like all glass, and when I moved, this one ornament broke, so I have to replace that still. But they're just so fragile. This one I at least made with like a lot of like new ornaments. The only vintage ones are this, this, and then this, which isn't gonna break, but these two definitely could. This one is just like very risky to hang anywhere unless it's an actual nail on the wall. So, um, I'm not really sure what to do about this. I'm thinking I might hang these on the wall here, like do a little of this kind of thing. I think that would be super cute. So I'm gonna hang these up. I love that. That looks so cute and festive. I love it. I really want to add more to the desk, but what I'm going to start with next is this shelf over here because I think I want um, a lot of the cutesy little things to go in here and then whatever I have left over we'll use like for the desk and the other areas of this room. all of these really cute little ornaments and I was trying to think of what to do with them since I don't have a tree for these ones to go on because they're definitely too heavy for this tree. I don't know if this is going to be cute or really ugly but I was thinking maybe I could stuff the ornaments in this because I'm currently using the bottom of it for the hot chocolate bar so maybe like put some of this pink tinsel in and then put the ornaments all in it and have it kind of be displayed. Wow, that just got really bright. Um, but kind of just like have it be displayed and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna try it, but I might hate it, but might as well see how it goes. Okay, I feel like it could be cute, but I also feel like they all just look like they're trapped and they're like really sad. <laughs> like it looks like a bad car wreck and everyone just looks really sad. So we're gonna veto this. I might just put them all in like a bowl or something. Um, I don't know. I gotta figure this part out. The next thing I'm gonna try is I have this really cute vintage bowl that Gabby got me for our wedding. I don't know if I've even showed you guys this yet, but it is seriously so beautiful. So it says for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, um, in sickness and health. And then it has, um, it says wedding anniversaries and it has like all of the different, um, wedding things, like wedding gifts like you give on a wedding anniversary. So it's such a beautiful gift and I love this. We always have this out in our family room, but I thought it was a really pretty color and maybe the ornaments would like cute in here, kind of just like hanging out. If I just like put them in here maybe and then put this um, on that like little shelf area. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute this is. 
the little bird on the nest. This is like Connor and I's section and it says bless this nest and basically just like has like little trinketies of ours. Switching this top shelf around a little, I put the record down here. This is one of my favorite records. I think mainly because of the colors and the artwork on it. I think it's just so cool and so different. Um, so I'm gonna keep that here. And of course the songs on it are the classic Christmas songs. So I love that. Um, and then up here I'm gonna keep this stuff and maybe I'll put like the little Christmas deer. I have the car. Maybe this will be like a little town setting or something. First ornament has shattered. It was so cute. It said, this is your year to sparkle. I guess it's not my year to sparkle. I'm so sad. So I'm actually gonna put these boxes here now. I felt like there was too much going on at my desk and when there's too much happening or like around me, I don't really get creative and I get really overwhelmed. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I just like can't have a ton of stuff. So I'm just gonna put some of these little decorations here. So this is what I now have for the Christmas tree. It was just too much with the box and then everything was just like a lot and I felt like I wasn't gonna be able to work well. So I actually have my favorite like winter hat. I kept looking at it and I was like, that would be really cute as a Christmas skirt. So I kind of just tied it um, around the tree bottom and I think it just looks a lot more minimal. So I have these little wreaths. I got in a pack of three from Walmart. So I think for now, that's what I'm gonna hang on the door. They're obviously a little small for the door. They're meant for windows. Um, but just for now to kind of like give the effect, I just got the wreaths up on the door. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, almost every year I post this GIF of, um, I think it's Candace, the Victoria's Secret Angel, coming through. She like opens up these doors. When she opens them up, there's like all of this Christmas stuff behind her. And this is what it feels like. I'm gonna close the doors for this grand reveal. So as you guys can see, the doors look amazing. This off this Ladder is kind of ruining the moment though. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, but I just put on those wreaths, like I said, from Walmart. They actually don't look bad. I think it looks kind of cute. I thought they were too small at first, but I don't hate it. So let's go see the Christmas room. We walk in, here is what's happening. So I'm sorry the lighting is pretty bad right now. It's just because the daylight is going down. So, or sunlight's going down rather. Um, but like you guys saw, I put up these adorable Christmas wreaths on the wall. We have our Christmas tree that I changed the skirt on a bajillion times, but I really love the way that this looks. Um, and then over here, um, I just put the bowl with all of the ornaments and then if you guys follow me on my second channel i showed this this is the happy holiday sign i got for like a quarter at a garage sale i think it's super cute and nostalgic of the 90s here on my chair i just put my victoria's secret hats to be a little festive and now comes probably my favorite piece in the office so it has this light under it oh there we go so it kind of like lights up the area and looks really cute. Um, so let me turn that off so you can see a little bit better. So here I just put some of my little ornaments, decorations. Down here, I put the record, um, this vintage angel, and then in this candy cane, or in this candle holder, I put in some candy canes. And moving down here, I just put the little bird on top of the nest with the eggs, and then we have Bless This Nest with our wedding photo. So now in this corner, we have actually an old pair of skis. We wanted to hang these on a wall somewhere, um, but we haven't done that yet, so they're kind of just hanging out here. I also have my bike in here because I love my bike and I worked very hard for this when I was younger. So I just like to keep it in here because I think it's really cute. I usually have like some flowers and stuff in the basket, but I don't know where I put them. Here I just have a Christmas card, some little decorations, a record, and of course my record player. So I thought I would do my little devotional, which I am 
so excited for today anyway i wanted to talk to you guys today about something that i heard last night surprise surprise it's from transformation church um i feel like it's not a sweet emmeline's video if i don't mention transformation church because like i said they've literally transformed my life and i just love their church so much i hope one day i can go there i think that he's doing like a tour around different states and it said that he was coming to new york so if he does i'm so excited for that but um connor and i were on our way home last night and we put in one of his podcasts and it actually wasn't him speaking it was a different pastor it was like the most recent sermon that just came out um he has a series out called crazy faith but this one was called gazy faith and i was kind of like huh like i wonder what this is going to be like like what it's going to be about and stuff and connor and i were just like staring at each other because we felt like it was seriously for us because um i opened up to you guys last week about just kind of like talking a little bit more about the pregnancy stuff like i said i'm i have like a whole video and this month i documented how i was feeling and it was just a very like intense week for me honestly i was very emotional about like not being pregnant yet and i think anyone goes through it when you're trying for so long or like what feels like so long we got married in april so that's like seven months now so it's hard because it feels like it's been forever and you just go through the same like cycle every single month where it's like oh like maybe this is the month maybe it's gonna happen like wait i feel this symptom or like whatever and you kind of start to build things up in your head and then just to take a pregnancy test and it says negative, it's always really hard. So this sermon that we were listening to last night, he was actually talking about Isaac and Sarah and how they knew that God like told them they were going to have children of many nations and it just wasn't happening and like 10 years went by, still no kids. Um, if you guys don't know the story, you guys should read it or just listen to this podcast because it was so good. The whole moral of it is that if god has something for you nothing can and nothing will stop that from happening and also though if something is not for you god will do everything in his power to make sure that that does not happen so for me personally i obviously took it as like if god wanted us to have a baby like we don't even have to try like we could have be having an off month where we only try like one time maybe i like i don't know drank something that like pregnant people aren't supposed to drink and maybe i didn't take like my vitamins every day that month maybe i stopped like taking some like magic pill that's supposed to get me pregnant not that i'm doing this stuff but i'm just like giving you examples no matter what like if it was meant to be god would do everything in his power and it would 100 percent happen but also like if it's i think my perfect timing right now to have a baby like i'm sitting here and i'm like it's my perfect time so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna buy like pills for connor i'm gonna buy pills for me i'm gonna buy like a magic potion tea i'm gonna buy like i don't know like any like gimmicky kind of stuff and i'm like this is when I think it's supposed to happen. So I'm going to do all of this stuff and I'm going to really force it to happen. It's not going to happen. No matter how much of this stuff I take, no matter how many different techniques I try, like it's just not going to happen because it's not God's timing. And it's the same with you guys. And I think that we can find so much comfort just knowing, like just realizing that like whatever God has for you is going to happen. And whatever is not in his plan will not happen no matter how hard we kick and try and no matter how hard we fight to get something to work for us it's not going to because that wasn't the plan and i know for me i think i've used this example before but like i felt like our wedding like the whole process of like dating being engaged all the way to getting married like we went through so much and I just thought like this should have happened years ago. But like when we actually had our wedding, it was beautiful. There's no way we would have been able to have been able to afford this place years ago. We wouldn't have had the connections. We wouldn't have had all of the things that we had. And I just felt like our wedding literally felt like we were Cinderella and Prince Charming. Like it was 
storybook perfect and I would not have changed anything like nothing went wrong like everything was just so amazing and every time I feel sad that something isn't working for me I remember that sometimes really really waiting for something is the best thing you can do is preparing you internally and making you stronger and then once that thing happens it's gonna be ten times better than when like you had thought it was perfect another thing that he brought up that I relate to so much is he said we start out with this faith and feeling like God gave me a message so maybe God has given you a message that like you're gonna meet this was what this was his example actually you have this list of what you want in a future husband so he's six foot four he's tall dark and handsome he has really good sense of humor he has an amazing job he loves kids he has a house he has a nice car i don't know whatever the heck it is that you want once you have this list in your head you're like this is what god's gonna give me i'm so excited like i know this is gonna happen i know i'm gonna find this man like we're just gonna live this amazing life together you're planning it all out on pinterest and then a year goes by and you start to lose face. Another year goes by, another year goes by, or maybe these are months, whatever it is. And little by little, you start to kind of cut back your list and you're like, okay, maybe if the guy is just like kind of funny, maybe if he's like at least five foot seven, maybe he has an okay job. I could deal with a guy who has a part-time job even. And you start to, cut back and you start to not trust God anymore and you start to lose all of your faith. And I know I've been there before with so many things and I'm just like, okay, but like maybe if this video could just get to like this amount of views now. And then I kind of keep cutting it back and I'm like, maybe if like one person watches my video, then that'll be okay too. But we have to stop doubting God. And just, I think that we all need to learn to have crazy faith like the series says and just fully trusting god and just reach for the stars i know it's like so corny but seriously just like just always imagine the best thing that you want and just truly believe that god is going to give it to you because he does like he wants to give us the best of the best he's just waiting for us to be patient he's waiting for us to believe and just waiting for us to like fully trust in him so that is my little rant for this video or my little devotion i should say um definitely listen to that podcast because it is so good and it was very funny con and i were both laughing a ton so it was awesome he was a really good pastor i wish i knew what his name was oh my lord my face is so red um definitely listen to that podcast it was absolutely amazing but that is all for this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next week. If you guys want um, like a baking video, I haven't done a baking video in a little bit, so maybe like something like that. Um, and also if you guys like, let me know if you want baking with me where I'm in the videos and talking or just like the voiceover so it's more relaxing um, and whatnot. I'm just gonna end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that this message um, spoke to you guys and you got something good from it. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next video.